EA Sports. What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. And for this one I have a very large cornucopia pack opening. And the title's going to say 50, but I think it's a little bit under around 47. And that's just because I lost a couple of the vids from the other three. It's probably like bunched in with some all pro packs or something like that. Not a big deal. I'm just missing a couple, but I'm going to put 50 in the title just because it sounds good. I actually opened all these packs on the 23rd, and I'm recording the video at 6.30 in the morning on the 25th, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to schedule this video to come out on the evening of Thanksgiving just to give you guys something to watch. Maybe, you know, you're sitting with your family, you don't have nothing to do, give you something to watch. I've never actually scheduled a video before, so hopefully it works, hopefully I do it right, and we'll see, I guess. All in all, I'm not sure how I fared with these packs, like how much I invested and how much I got out in terms of that. But I am pretty sure on all the numbers, so if you guys haven't opened these packs yet and you're kind of deciding whether you should or not, I can give you some methods on how to get coins back and how to recoup a little bit and also how to reinvest into the pack so that it doesn't really cost you that much to do it. And by numbers, I mean the ratio on overalls that I pulled out of these packs over 47 packs. So, for example, 89s, I opened 47 packs and I got 21 89s, which is by far the most overall you're going to get. That is around 44%, and that is my luck. So, you know, it could vary here and there. It could vary based on how many you open and also what times you're opening because the way the Madden system works is it's like a varied system. The ratios change by the minute. That's why you hear some people saying that they're in a window. It means basically they're in that sweet spot of time where they're getting really good pulls based on how the Madden system works with pack openings. But moving past the 89, we got 990s. And that's around 20%. For 91 overall, we got 13, which is around 28%. For 92 overall, out of 47 packs, we only got 192, which is around 2%. And for 93s, out of 47 packs, we got 3 of them, which is 6%. So as you can see, to get that top end pull, it's going to be pretty lucky if you do get that. I think anything 91 and over is a win in terms of how much value you're getting out of it. But I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys some insight on what I was doing. I'm not sure if this is the best method. There might be somebody in the comment section that has the math completely broken down. But I was doing what I was doing at that time because of what the market was saying. And that's because a lot of people were opening this pack as well. And if you look at the numbers, you're going to be getting 89s a lot of the time. And so people were getting their 89s and they were undercutting each other and things like that on the market, which was killing the return. So what I would do is I would just quick sell the 89s and some of the 90s, depending on what 90 you got. And I would just turn that into training and then go to the training section in the store. And then I would re-roll the 80 to 84 and try to get some leaves back out of that. I think if you approach this pack that way, then a lot of people will break even or even profit because the 89 and 90s will come out a lot and the 90s do have some value for some cards. And as you can see right there, I got an 89, which was the Redux Gronk, and he was going for over market value. And basically what market value means is how much training is going for for that overall. So if there's an 89 overall card that nobody really wants, then that card's going to be going for its lowest possible price for training for people to buy it and just quick sell it. So if you're selling all your cards that are over training value, then you're going to do well. And then all the cards that are basically training value or people are undercutting under that, then just go ahead, quick sell it into training, and then re-roll the 80 to 84 set for leaves and then just reinvest back into the set. You will lose sometimes, but you know, you get two 89s in a row and then you get bailed out by that 93 
that is probably going to net you around like 270,000 coins. So like I was saying, in the end, most people will be around the break-even territory with this set. And some people might get really lucky. And depending on what pulls they get, they might get reduxes and stuff. Things that people actually want. And they'll turn a profit out of it. So hopefully all the numbers I've given you and the little tips will you know, help you decide whether you want to open these if you haven't. But aside from all the numbers, moving on. It's just a fun thing to do, so if it's Thanksgiving or maybe you're watching after and you haven't opened these packs, just go ahead and open them because it's exciting. It's one of the more exciting packs that we'll get this year, so you might as well go ahead and open them. Who cares if you win or lose? Also, before I forget, every year Madden does a Black Friday Blitz promo, and that is basically where they do a flash sale and they offer cheaper prices on packs. And they usually have sets and stuff like that. And they have really fast players. CJ2K, Deion Sanders, Lamar Jackson, Tyreek Hill have been cards from the past. I have been told that the Blitz promo is going to start on Thanksgiving night. And basically what that will look like is packs will go on sale probably around 8 p.m. And then it will refresh every 3-4 to four hours with new offers. And that structure will carry on through the weekend, most likely. In years past, they've had offers for training. No one knows if they're going to do that this year. I believe last year they did not have training offers. I personally thought the training offers were good because the packs were really cheap. A lot of people were opening them, so it was driving the market down. And then when you had the training offers, it would counteract that because people would buy cards back. So they could get training and then do whatever training offer was up at the time. In the past, EA has done some really cool things with Black Friday, like Platinum Packs, where you open up the packs with training or money, and then you get a Platinum card, which is a card that quick sells for coins. They've also done power-up passes that you can buy off the market. So those are really cool things hopefully we see back this year. If we go into more detail about the Blitz promo, I believe last year most of the offers you had to buy with points. It's pretty much a money spenders promo. But there were special Blitz packs that would give you Blitz collectibles or currency. And basically you could buy those with cash or coins. So if you have a lot of coins saved up and you've been investing in things like that and flipping stuff... If you have millions of coins, then you should be able to buy those Blitz packs with your coins. Last year for the Blitz promo, there was a Blitz tab in the store, and that would refresh alongside with the packs. And basically, if you were earning Blitz currency from whatever method, you could take that Blitz currency and you could go to the Blitz tab in the store, and then you could buy a card straight out with your currency. An example for that is last year... When the promo first started, the cards were sitting around 89 overall. And a card that comes to my mind is a Matt Breida, who was pretty fast. He had 92 speed. You could buy him with Blitz currency. Or you could save your currency because as the promo went on, the card overalls went up. And you could straight just buy them with the currency. I also think, you know, if you're not investing money, this is a good way to buy and flip cards. Because for the first 30 minutes that a card is available to be purchased for Blitz currency, there's going to be a lot of people buying it and trying to post it on the marketplace, which is going to cause a lot of undercutting. So you can buy cards for really cheap, and those cards are only available to be purchased on the currency shop for around 4 to 3 hours or so. I'm assuming based off of what they did last year. So if they do it that same way, then you can buy a card that's being overpopulated on the market and people are undercutting each other. And then, you know, five hours from then, that card is going to go back up because you can't buy it on the currency market anymore. That's how I was able to make some extra coins during Blitz promo last year. I do think the structure will be similar this year. And if it is, I do think it's smart to buy those cards when they're just now being available to be purchased. I remember last year they had, you know, the 89s and then the 91s that were going for sale 
after those, they did show you the cards that were going to be coming. You just couldn't buy them yet. So it would give you a good idea of where you wanted to spend your Blitz currency. So if there's a card that you don't really want out of the first batch, you should be able to see the next and, you know, make your decision from there. In terms of investing in these Blitz cards, like I said, I do think it's a smart idea, but I don't think you should hold on to them too long because these cards are basically considered limited time, which means when this series ends, which is not going to be that far off of this promo, the next series when it starts, these cards are going to have Redux versions, and if you are holding on to an 89 overall card from Blitz, that card is going to be pretty popular in packs in terms of how often you're going to get that card. I know that's a weird way of saying it, but basically 89s are going to be easier to pull in the next series, especially with pack odds going up. So be careful what you hold on to. I would sell things before the end of the series for sure. But that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you guys have made it this far, then I really appreciate you guys coming to my channel and watching my video. Also, Happy Thanksgiving if you guys are watching this on Thanksgiving. I want to thank you guys for watching. Come back for more Madden content, and I will see you guys in my next video.